I'm thirsty. For a refreshing change of pace, why not try Ramune brand Sanagria Soda? A fun party treat exclusively from Japan. Available in a wide array of unusual flavors, these sodas are best known for the trademark Cod Neck Marble Bottle, which adds extra challenge to your imbibing experience. Konnichiwa everybody, this is your good buddy DJ Clive, and I do believe these are the first Japanese products I've ingested for the show. This is something called a Sanagria, which so sounds almost kind of Spanish, but um, it's Ramune Original Flavored Premium Carbonated Soft Drink. And Ramune, you'll notice, has a little, <laughs> has an accent over the E, which I always thought was a Spanish thing. I mean, maybe it's some kind of weird Japanese-Spanish collabo, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, every time you go past like the little Japanese section, like they have one at Target, I believe, you see the Pocky and like all sorts of weird things there. I'm always so curious about eating those. and. Chances are you're probably going to see me eat every last bit of it for this show. Um, this is just the first of probably many. And um, what turned me on to these is the shape of the bottle. It's kind of weird. You'll see that there's small indentures for your fingers to grab it, I guess. Although I don't see how that helps because it's slippery. I would drop this in a second. Um, and the way that it's, it's like kind of creased in the middle here, I mean, maybe it's just uh, a way of making the bottle look bigger and them giving you less. I don't know. but. Part of the challenge of me drinking this is probably being able to drink it because I do believe these bottles have this little marble inside that, like, when you... It's kind of difficult. I remember seeing it on um, an anime called Razefan. They were, they were drinking this stuff and they, they were drinking bottles that looked like these and there's a marble that is actually stuck in the, uh, the tip of the bottle and if you, if you don't tilt it the right way, the marble gets stuck and um, it traps, you know, your delicious liquid within. And I don't understand the point of that. Maybe it's to keep from chugging it. Maybe they want you to take baby sips and, uh, you know, to keep thin. I don't know, so you don't have to drink so many of them. How do you even... All right, there's a marble. Okay. Maybe I should have read the instructions on this. Place the opener at the top of the bottle and press down firmly. Oh, okay. Um, remove the drink chilled. Remove the plastic film from the top. Pop out the center from the cap, which will be used to open the bottle. Did I just do it? Pop out the center from the cap, which will be used to open the bottle. Oh! What in the blue blazes? Okay. <laughs> I guess I did the right thing. All right, so I guess you just take this little stopper here, and you go... And there you go. Oh, look! Premature ejaculation. All right. Well, which one should I... Well, I'll try the original first. Original. What is it? I have no idea, but look at the picture. Like little cotton candy, sh rainbow sherbet, something like that. And, oh, look, there's the marble. You see it? You see it floating around in there? What a taste experience this is. All right. Well, no time like the present. Let's give it a, a taste of roux. Mmm, that's actually kind of good. Very, very fresh. It kind of tastes... It tastes a little bit like a Sprite, only there's a little bit of a, like a bubblegum tart to it. Yeah, if, if that idea floats your boat, then, then this is a perfect drink for you. The only problem is that there's not a whole lot of it. I just took two baby sips, and I feel like I'm almost done with it. Mmm, I like it very much. I still don't see the point of the, the marble here. If somebody wants to, uh, you know, I, have, I know I have a lot of otaku who, who watch these uh, limbo grubs, um, people who are into the Japanese culture. If you can explain to me what this marble is for, is it for what I said? Is it to keep people from chugging the thing? Because to me, it only seems to get in the way. I guess, I don't know, I guess it kind of corks up the bottle so you're not pouring it all over your face. All right, this is the melon flavor. It's also got a picture of sherbet on it. Uh, I'm gonna try this one out, and um, I've never had melon flavored soda, but um, it smells good. Mmm, wow, that's different. Yeah, it really tastes like melon. 
Um, and it doesn't even taste artificial. It tastes like fresh fruit, carbonated, you know, liquid form. So I think both of these drinks are, are winners in my book. Um, maybe I like this one a little bit better because I've never been a biggest, the biggest fruit advocate, but if I were to give this a star rating, I would give this an easy three and a half stars. The melon drink, I will give this, you know what, I'll give it two and a half stars because it ranks pretty average. Uh-oh, the fuzz. Go get him. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it ranks pretty average. I wouldn't rush out to get this again. I'm glad I drank it, but, you know, it's, it's pretty forgettable. Now, how do I close these up? I guess you just rest this on top of here? Or maybe I put this back in, and then... Alright, so... The formula is not as great as it seems, because... <laughs> if, suppose I want to have some for later. What do I do? I mean, am I doing something wrong? I guess I have to drink both of these right now in one go. delicacies you want to let me try or you're a big fan of that you'd like to see covered on the show comment section down below ta-ta everybody